Reinhardt at your service. Howdy, everybody. My name is Odinus, and today we're going over Reinhardt, the modern technological knight. Most known for his tremendous shield, which helps his team advance upon the enemy, he's a reliable ally and a tough opponent. Let's hop into the training range and see what he's all about. First off, Reinhardt, if you haven't noticed, is a melee character. Now, his weapon is a giant rocket-powered hammer, or axe, depending on which skin you got. It allows you to knock your enemies from side to side, and does a decent amount of damage. It's mostly for disruption, though. It's uh, making your enemies scatter and focus on you, because it's really difficult for anyone to ignore you when you walk up to them and just knock them around a bit. Reinhardt is a tank, after all, and it's his job to direct fire to him. Now, uh, the arc actually moves during the animation. This is kind of invisible, but the arc is in a rectangle. It's not a circle, though it looks like a circle when you're swinging it. It's not. So, I could be here and not hit him. But if I move like this, I can hit him. Keep that in mind. Also, additionally, if you move while swinging it, you can make that arc a bit more because the arc stays while you're swinging it. This is excellent for walking in someplace and just rapidly swinging around. Get used to trying to swing back and forth, but uh, don't let it disorient your view of the battlefield. Now, his alternate fire is usually the main reason he gets fielded. It is this giant shield right here. As you can see through that bar there, this will absorb up to 2,000 damage. It will regenerate, but it's not going to, uh, you know, it's not going to regenerate while it's on. Um, this will block the majority of projectiles. The things that won't be deflected are Symmetra's primary and alternate fire, Winston's Tesla cannon, Reinhardt's fire strike, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, Junkrat's rip tire, and all melee attacks. So if someone runs up to you and decides they want to hit you with their Reinhardt hammer or their melee attack, uh, they can just walk up and hit you. The barrier will not stop them at all. That's actually a pretty decent counter to uh, Reinhardt, is you can just run up to him and punch him and make him drop his shield and deal with you. Because he'll just be sitting there taking damage from you and he's not doing anything. Now, uh, this is obviously an excellent ability for just walking slowly towards a point and keeping, you know, your allies behind you. They are able to shoot through it uh, without any problem. All allied projectiles will go through the shield. It will not stop anything from your allies. Now, uh, next up is his Fire Strike. It is his only ranged ability, technically. Because um, I consider the charge to be ranged ability. He basically swings his hammer and throws fire at something. This is an excellent ability to harass, say, a sniper who's up there. Or just, you know, hitting an immobile turret or a bastion who's hanging around. Um, don't drop your shield for it, though. Uh, one of the mistakes a lot of Reinhardts do is they drop their shield, they throw out the fire strike, and they pop it back in. But during that time, the enemy team has a chance to hit your teammates. I would not suggest doing that at all. Now, uh, lastly, we have my favorite ability, and that is the charge. Now, I'm going to show this to you in two points. I'm going to first hit that guy, this little target here, to show you what happens when you glance off at us. You hit them, but you don't necessarily do that much damage. Let's try it again here, and I'll charge directly in the center. It'll knock them out of the way and do a small amount of damage. Now, there also is an interesting thing, and I'm going to walk up there. How do I get up there? <laughs> I'm going to walk up there to show you what happens when you pin somebody with this. Because if you manage to hit them dead on, they will be pinned against you and be unable to move. If it ends early, then they're just simply dropped. They take a minor amount of damage, but they're dropped. However, if, and only if, you manage to get them head on... Come here, buddy. ...and smash them into a wall, it will do 300 damage. That will kill pretty much every non-tank hero in the game. However, this also means you have to drop your shield and charge directly in. The best way to use this is when your barrier is depleted and you have nothing else, you know, to do. Uh, the best way to uh, essentially get continue to get fire off of your enemies... Off of your enemies. Off of your allies 
is to then walk in and disrupt. You charge in, you swing your hammer around, you make them focus on you. You'll probably die from it. But option B is retreating and waiting for the barrier to uh, regenerate. Usually the better option is to wait for the barrier to regenerate. But if you want to go full out, you see an opportunity, go right in. Now an interesting thing is, you can use this to fly off the map. Um, Reinhardt will not stop until he's reached a certain distance or he's hit a wall. So, and this doesn't count as a wall. So you can fly right off the map. Fun little thing you can do. Uh, Diva's mech, when it's in the, uh, you know, she's doing the self-destruct thing, Reinhardt can still charge it. So say this is a Diva's mech. You can charge it off the map and go full Iron Giant and save your team. Very useful. However, you could also charge things directly into your team. Um... Be mindful when you do this, essentially. Use it carefully. Um, you can also, if for some reason you're running a double tank combo and Reinhardt's not in front, which is rare, you can flank around and charge an enemy directly into your allies. For most for most uh, enemies, this is going to be pretty much an instant death. So, let's use his last ability here, which I've had charged up for a while. It is Earth Shatter. Reinhardt slams his hammer into the ground, knocks everyone down in a cone in front of him, stunning them for 2.5 seconds. In which you should walk in and just knock them around. That's the best use of this ability is to run in in melee. Now, some people prefer to use it and then charge somebody. That can get an instant kill, but by the time you're done charging, everyone else has gotten up. You really want to get try to get more than one person with this. It's a cone. And generally, people are going to be in front of you. You're going to be at the very front. It gives your allies an opportunity to take them down. And if not, then you have an opportunity to, you know, take them down. However, if you knock down a group of enemies, don't just charge one. The rest of them will have taken minor damage and then just have absolutely nothing stopping them from simply turning around, wiping you out, going back to your team. Now... Now that we've gone over all of his abilities, let's hop into an AI match and show off what he can do in battle. Alright, we're setting up here for attack on Dorado, and I'm going to be playing as Reinhardt, as you know. And we are going to be pushing this objective with our team. Now, my goal here is to essentially stand at the front of the objective, or on it, use my shield, and protect my team. Let's go. This Roadhog's just going to run right past me and get attacked, isn't he? That's what you get. You gotta watch out for Reaper, because he can float right through your shield and then start attacking you from behind. I'm gonna wait for his reload and then smack him around. Oh, jeez. Bastion here can shred my shield, but I'm hoping with enough... We can get this thing moving. There we go. Let's get this payload moving. Get in there. Oh, there we go. Alright. I am the Reinhardt. This is a very common tactic. It doesn't work all the time, especially if you got flankers who will just run past you and kill you. But it can be very, very useful. By the way, it uh, also stops Roadhog's hook, if you didn't notice. His shield... Come on. Get off my point. There we go. Alright. We're back. We are going through the streets. So long as they stay behind me, they're fine. The two people up there are tank characters, so it's alright. I can just stand here and let my team just, uh, you know, let me soak up all the damage for my team, block hooks from Roadhog. As you can see, they can shoot through my shield with no problem whatsoever. And now I'm going to use my ultimate to take them out. When they're all bunched up like that, especially in a tight space like this, that's one of the best times to use your ultimate. We're just gonna keep trucking along with this payload.
As you can see, he tried to, uh... Zenyatta down. He tried to just walk right past me and melee me, which is a valid tactic. If you have too much fire on you, you can be very susceptible to that. Let's keep moving. There's a reason you get put into a third-person view when you shield, so you can see who runs up behind you. Otherwise, you'd just be sitting there. See? He just runs up and melees me, and I take the damage. But I can't avoid it. And he can't avoid that. This is a poor decision, because then suddenly I'm in the middle of the enemy team without anything to show for it. And I get taken down. So when you use your hammer, don't charge in like I just did. Just walk in swinging and put up your barrier again. Because unless you have like full support of your team to wipe out the rest of them, that charge is just not going to work. And I'm going to hit a pinata. Because pinata. All right. Flankers can cause you a bad time, but you still have 500 health. I'm going to hang out here. Bring it. That's one of the best ways to counter a Reinhardt, by the way. You just keep walking right up to him. Because unless he has his uh, team with him, uh, so long as he has that shield up, you're not doing anything. He has to switch over to this. And if you have backup, you're done. Well, Reinhardt's done, that is. And also block damage from ultimates. Oh, you did. Shoot me all you want. You ain't gonna get nothing. Oh, shoot. Woo! I just got launched. Zenyatta, you should not have done that. Alright. This is getting a little hectic now that we've got the enemy team so close and they're just charging in all willy-nilly. But that's no problem for Reinhardt. We can just keep swinging away our, with our giant hammer. However, by the way, if you don't hit them right on, you're just going to knock them away, which is still helpful, but not as uh, good. Go away. Ugh. Bastions can tear you up because they can tear through your shield really quickly and probably you before you can reach them in charge range. Now, he was, uh, you know, getting up really aggressive with his turret positioning, but the concept remains the same. you got to keep yourself very careful around. Also, Farah and Junkrat can take down your shield really well because their explosives do a lot of damage and you're a huge target. I can just hang out here. It'd be a pain in the ass. Shoot me all day, I don't care. They're all bunched up. I like that. But I got taken out from behind. All right. We're going to need a new strategy here. So, let's get moving. I love all of his quotes and stuff, just because he's just this really pumped up German man. Yes! Fight! <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, they got it moving. Great. Good job, AI teammates. I'm just going to hit this guy in the head. A shield up. Oop, we got flankers. This thing is huge, so yeah, it can it can block a very very wide area. And you can see why it's such a uh, target for missiles and stuff. 
shoot all you want. I don't care. There we go. See? I can just stand there and block damage for my team, and they do all the work in taking out the enemy. I just have to make sure that they don't get hurt. That's really my goal here. And we are coming to the conclusion of this map. That's Reinhardt in battle, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it on! I live for this! This ironclad knight is a very iconic character to play as, being able to defend and attack very effectively. So long as you have your team at your back to take care of flankers and take advantage of your shield to lay down fire, you'll be slaying dragons in no time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe for more Overwatch content. Take care, everybody.